What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So there was just an update to the SketchUp 3D warehouse and I wanted to talk about it because I think it could be a huge deal. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so you might have noticed if you go into the 3D warehouse, which you can do either by clicking on this icon right here or by going to window 3D warehouse, that the whole thing looks a little bit different than it did before. And so the reason for that is because they've changed the way that the 3D warehouse looks. It's kind of got a new skin, but it's also got some big features in it that I think are going to be a big deal. So um, just as kind of a quick overview, um, you can still search for products. You can see all of your collections and content by going up to the window on the upper right hand side of the page. And you can also see that stuff down below, right? So you can see your collections, your uploads, models that you've liked, other things like that. What it doesn't have anymore is it doesn't have that front page in here um, that has kind of the curated models, which honestly I'm 100% fine with because they weren't really updating it anyway. So this is now more specifically for the things that you've done. Now, you search for things in the 3D warehouse either by clicking in this bar and looking for something. So like say I typed in cabinet, it's gonna pop up this window right here or by using what I think is probably the biggest update to the 3D warehouse, um, the most important update that we've seen in a very long time. So instead of typing in a word, which is uh, not always ideal. Um, so for example, let's say that I was to type in light fixture well, most of the light fixtures in this warehouse, whether you go to the products or you go to the models themselves, aren't actually labeled very well at all, making it really difficult for you to actually find anything that you're looking for. This has been one of the things that made 3D Warehouse very frustrating. However, they have a new feature in here, which is massively helpful, which is the ability to do a reverse image search. What the reversed image search is going to do is it's going to allow you to actually search for something based on an image rather than using text. So let's say that we go to like a stock photo site. So we'll just go to Pexels is one that I've seen all the time. Let's say we typed in kitchen and looked for a kitchen. And let's say you found a kitchen in here and you really liked the chairs, for example. Well, what I could do is I could try to describe these chairs in the 3D warehouse, and odds are you're probably not going to find anything like this because it's really hard to describe these with text and hope that the people that created the models actually labeled them in a way where they're findable. So what we can do is we can take a snip of that image, right? So I just took a screenshot and I saved it on my computer, but then we can take that inside of SketchUp and we can actually drag the image into um, this box right here. So when I drag that in here, what this is going to do is this is going to actually search for models that match up with or are close to um, the models that you're seeing in your image. So what this is gonna do, right, is it's gonna go through here and it's going to do that image search. And if you look, if we scroll down, there's actually a wood chair that's very similar to those chairs right here. And then I can click on it I can download it into my model, just like this. And now we've got basically that chair that we had in our image. Now, obviously there may be some things you have to do like adding textures if they're not already in here or something like that. And so this is massively valuable to me for finding different things in the 3D warehouse because I never in my life would have searched for Banquetta Cruise um, from this manufacturer. And most of what they've typed in here is in a different language than my native language. So finding this would have been extremely difficult but now I can just do an image search and go find it. And so let's say we were to do the same thing with these hanging light fixtures right here. We could just take a snip of this image, jump back into the 3D warehouse, and I'm just gonna reset this and click in here, and I can drag that image into the search bar right here, and it's going to search for similar products. Now, that being said, obviously, if this product doesn't exist in the 3D warehouse, then um, you're not going to be able to download it, right? That makes a ton of sense. But you can find the closest stuff that's in the warehouse to this. So for example, this light right here, while it's not exactly the same, is a very similar 
product, right? So if I click on this, this is something that's kind of close to what I found before. So you can at least use this to find models that are close to what you're looking for. And so you're gonna get varying levels of results off of this. Um, you you kind of have to apply a little bit of logic to it. So let's say for example, you wanted, and so let's say you wanted these cabinets in here, which are fairly custom looking, I think. Um, so let's say that we were to do a search for those, you're usually not gonna find like the exact cabinet that you're looking for, but what you can do is find cabinets that are kind of close, right? So this one from Craftmade kind of looks the same. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of got a similar look in here. So, I mean, you do have to temper your expectations to a certain degree. Like you're probably not gonna be able to find exactly what's out there, unless it's like a popular product or something like that and a manufacturer's provided it. Um, but it really helps you kind of dial things in. Now, one area where I don't think it's going to be especially helpful is um, like I pulled a snip of this white two-story house and brought that in. Well, that's not really going to help me very much because if I bring the house model in, like it's gonna find houses that are kind of the same, but since houses are kind of like one-offs, um, you're definitely not gonna find something that's an exact match. And so what I can do is I can use it in order to find houses that have kind of the same style, but they're definitely not gonna be like an ultra close match just because when you're searching for custom things, finding things that exactly match is going to be pretty much impossible or at least impractical. That said, image-based search in the 3D warehouse is a game changer for me because finding things in the warehouse has been ultra frustrating in the past. Now, one of the other cool things that they've added in this new version is they've also added the ability to search for different materials. So for example, let's say that I wanted to look for like a white oak. So I'm just gonna type in white oak right here. You'll notice how when you do a search, this is going to give you the ability not only to search for products and models, but also for materials. Notice how this is gonna do a search of all of the different textures that it can find inside of the warehouse um, that you can then download and bring in. Now, that being said, um, one of the things that I'm noticing in here is a lot of these are pretty low resolution textures, um, but let's say I brought this like white stained oak in. I can just click on the download button right here, and now that's brought in, and I don't know how this is going to map on this surface, but you can use this in order to apply that white stained oak in here. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to drop a little swatch in here, right click on the texture, and I'm gonna set this as projected, and then I'm gonna sample it. And that's just gonna kind of project the texture downward, but notice how I'm able to bring in this white oak material really quickly. Now, one thing I have not tested, and we can do that right now, is I have not tested using the image search for a texture material. So let's say I was to do a search for a wood material. So I just pulled a swatch off of a website. And so if I drop this swatch in here, and so this one just kind of pulls a bunch of like weird, um, kind of almost empty, results. I'm not really sure 100% if I'm understanding the results that I'm seeing, but it does look like as of right now, dragging a texture swatch on here and searching for it probably isn't going to work, which isn't really that big of a deal, um, but it would be something that would be kind of interesting in the future. Okay, now there is one other thing that I kind of wanted to comment on, and I'll be interested to see what everybody else thinks about this, but let's say I was to do a search for cabinets in here, so just cabinets. Um, so products and models pretty much stayed the same, right? So you can uh, either find things that are marked as manufacturer products or things that are marked as models um, in here. But there's also the option in here for catalogs. Catalogs can be especially helpful if you're looking for like groups of different things. Right. So for example, let's say we were to go into Osborne Wood Products right here. Um, notice how you can access their different collections. And so you might kind of notice that this looks a little bit different, right? Now these are showing like, uh, these are showing like thumbnails that you can put in here for these different things, which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of. So if I go to this like Blum USA right now, if I scroll in, notice how they have the ability, I guess, to create their own custom page in here to show their different products and that's fine I guess but as someone who's looking for these different models I'm not really looking for like product images and things like that I actually want to see what the models look like in the thumbnail so I can get an idea if, the, if I'm going down the right road right so even like the different kinds of products they have in here if I click on it I have no idea what this is going to look like right so when I open this up this is a bunch of hardware well I don't need 
hardware. I need a 3D image of this, and I can't tell what the actual 3D models look like from the thumbnails. So I'm not a massive fan of the uh, custom image thumbnails in here, just because they don't really give me an idea of what's actually contained inside of the collections. So that's one area where I would like to see a little bit of a change, is I would like for at least the collection thumbnails to show the models themselves that are in the collection. All right, so in my opinion, this is a massive move forward for the 3D warehouse. I mean, it's basically an improvement of the core function of the warehouse, which is to go find models. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about the updated 3D warehouse? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.